there is a numerator and a denominator on service. And that's the other part of this. Yes, we've increased the pay because it was far behind. It was in the pits uh, in, in 1999 and 2000. And we needed to be able to man our installations and do the things that we need to. But because we've increased the numerator of pay, we've more than doubled and tripled and quadrupled the denominator of what we're asking people to go and do <coughs> in service and sacrifice. We've all got to admit the country's broke. You know, we're broke. And if we don't make some major changes in the entitlement programs, both on the domestic side and the military side, I can tell you what's going to happen to our Department of Defense. We're going to have the finest soldier, sailor, airman, and marine the country's ever had. There'll be four of them, and that's all we're going to be able to afford. Because they're doing that right now. Because these, as you let these deferred comp costs keep going, the rate they're going, you're just going to drive the active duty military smaller and smaller and smaller. We moved in the nation from a draft to a volunteer military with a lot of discussion about the consequences. But we never altered all the support structures for the all-volunteer military. We kept a 19th century post-camp and station, one-size-fits-all, nearly medieval notion of assigning pay, promotion, and rewards. I'm Ellen Nullheiser with Synopsis Newsletter. The report suggests encouraging retirees who have access to other health insurance to use it. What about those of y'all who retire from the military with 20 or 25 years and then go back to work as a civilian. So you're pulling down a military pension and a paycheck from the Pentagon. We think it's really revisionism to say that these folks that served 20, 25, 30 years and had an understanding of what their health benefit would be, uh, to then say those folks are being dishonorable, they're taking advantage of this earned benefit. This isn't a gift. This is a benefit that they have earned through 20 or 30 years. That's one of the things we don't like about the fee increases that the Defense Department is proposing is they want to do it based on how long you served and what pay grade or rank you made. You're going to serve longer and earn less in that earned benefit. And so we think that's just patent discrimination against the military. Frankly, this thing about 20 to 30 years, in a lot of cases, uh, the military is such that they don't need a lot of people that have been 25 or 30 years of service. The pyramid goes up for a reason. It's because it's hard. Go to Iraq, go to Afghanistan like these gentlemen have, and you'll see. Uh, you have to be physically fit. You don't want to be landing on an aircraft carrier at the age of 50 at night. And so there's a reason that we want young people in the Marine Corps and we want young people in the services and why they leave at 20 years or 23 years, no matter what we pull in front of them.